Hey guys, if you love Mario Kart, you're gonna love these two remote control cars. It's a Mario and Luigi Mach 8 Carrera remote control cars on sale at Costco. Anyways, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the Sony W channel, whether it's product reviews like this one, unboxings, and other fun stuff that I got, and shopping and Costco finds. It's all on my Sony W channel. Anyways, these are very, very awesome Mario and Luigi remote control cars, and I just wanna make sure I review it and do an unboxing of it. This is pretty awesome. Very, very dramatic shots I took just for fun. So it started all about, what, a week ago when I saw these at Costco for $49. They were the Mario Kart Mario & Luigi Mach 8 RC2 pack made by Carrera um, Remote Control Cars. Really good quality stuff. It's also a Nintendo licensed product, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing really quick. And since it was a licensed product, usually the product is very high quality. So I'm gonna assume I'm gonna just keep this for collecting rather than, you know, I don't know, maybe I will buy another set so I could play with it, but I'll probably get a set for, um, for my niece who loves Mario Kart a lot. Anyways, opening it from the bottom, you basically get some a dry pack and instructions as well as, wow, it's in different languages, which is pretty cool. Anyways, this is actually a very, very, it's a two pack, that's one, so you can actually play with either your kids, if you want to buy this for your kids, or if you want to buy this for yourself. That's cool too. I bought it for myself for now. I'll probably get another set for my uh, niece, like I said. It, instruction does have the do not do list, like, you know, do not put it on water and all this sort of fun stuff, but you can take a look at that later. But it does have the battery. You do need a screwdriver and it does charge by USB. It does come with all the batteries that's already needed, like the um, lithium ion batteries that already comes with it. And it basically does pairs with the remote control just by turning it on. So both of these will pair to different frequencies so you can race with this, which is awesome. This is a perfect race pack that you could play with your, um, I guess, at home, I guess. Or if you're waiting for that whole um, Mario Kart augmented reality one and you can't get it, this is pretty awesome too. Now I mentioned this is pretty fast. These things go at about, what, five miles per hour. And if you're inside the living room, these will go pretty much speed everywhere. So looking at the quality, this is really cool. I just took the part off. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of uh, the box. And you know, I'm glad it has a nice display box. I'm gonna just put this on my shelf and just keep it there if I'm not playing with it. But I'm gonna unbox it, test it out, you know, charge the batteries. And of course I'll play with it. Now eh, what the heck, it's a toy. It's meant to be played with. Anyways, the remote control and the cars are plugged in with those little um, tabs. Those little back tabs, you just turn it 90 degrees and you take it out. The remote control is quite nice. It's forward, back, left, right, you know, basic basic functionality. So let's turn those tabs on those guys. I like how they didn't strap it all with, you know, zip ties and stuff. It has these nice um, removable tabs that you can put back. So in case you want to display this on your shelf, on your desk, whatever, you know, I'm going to go ahead and collect this so it's no big deal. I'm going to just put it back together later after I play with it. So... In the taking Luigi out real fast, let's see, take a look at him. Likes how it, it's interesting because when you turn the steering wheel, his um, whole body will turn based on that, and the steering wheel will turn as well. There it comes with a USB charger as well as the lithium ion battery and two um, AAA batteries for each car. So basically, you don't need to buy batteries for this thing. You know, if you're buying this as a gift for Christmas or whatever else, just make you know, you don't have to get batteries for this. This is the best part about it. So all the batteries are included. All you need is charge the batteries first. Um, not all the batteries, just the lithium ion battery. Uh, the triple A alkaline batteries are included. There's that little base. The base actually holds the thing to get, holds the cart onto the base pretty well. It keeps it nice and flush and flat. And Mario's one is pretty cool. As you can see, they're the same color cart. Uh, I'm going to probably, what I want to do is I want to actually spray paint the cart silver or something like that, but I don't know. I, I don't want to ruin the value of it, but at the same time, this is pretty neat. As you can see, as you turn it, you know, the body and torso turns, so is the steering wheel turns, and it will tilt left and right. Very neat. Luigi's uh, L in the front and back. I really do like these race cars. They look really nice. Uh, the tires are you know, if in case you're wondering, they are pretty firm. They are firm rubber tires, and it's pretty nice. There's no air in them or anything. You can squeeze it, but you know, there's no, um, there's no give. I just, I just want to say that they're pretty um, nice rubber, very good grip. There's a calibration front for the steering. If yeah, the, the calibration needs to be adjusted, 
as you can see on the bottom part, you know, there is these little uh, shocks, and as you can see those little things moving up and down. It the only the front two tires have shocks on them, the rear don't. The detailing in the back, you have that red painted rocket uh, uh, exhaust or thruster, and Mario's my Mario's uh, you know hand could come off the steering wheel, which is neat, but. I just thought it was pretty cool, but it's pretty well, it's pretty loose in terms of how it goes. So you actually shift according to what the steering wheel does, because as you know, the tires turn, so does the steering wheel, so does the whole body. So I really do love this toy. As you can see, it's really, really well built and well, well designed. It's really nice. I like how they actually hid the shocks from the front and the fact that the tires are painted with the red for the rims, as well as the silver of the insides. The Mario motors are on the tire. I do like that. Um, and the fact that it's, you know, Mario, Mario's um, race car is different from, of course, Luigi's, of course. Um, but the color scheme is the same except for the L or M icon. Anyways, from the back, it looks great. For the front, it looks great. Uh, the plastic, it's, well, it's blue plastic. But at the same time, it's just the right proportion. The face, the head, everything. Um, and the tires look really awesome. So, just some more nice photo scenes of this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go right into other fun stuff. Um, after I'm still waiting for it to charge the battery, I'm gonna, and to be honest, they're the same size in terms of um, the battery. The everything is the same. The battery and the cart, they're all the same. The both of them are identical except for Luigi's and the Luigi's a little taller than Mario, of course, but. Detailing is really good on this. Everything is painted, like the yellow strap is painted. The, you know, the the front windshield is actually painted gray, and you know, the clearance on the bottom is actually kind of low, uh, which doesn't really have much clearance, so it might get caught on things and it might get it might scratch the bottom. Suspension does work pretty well in the front, so it's pretty neat. I think this should be able to take some, you know, impact and stuff, which I, it seems pretty well built. Um, but if you take it out on outdoors or even on the carpet, I don't think it'll be an issue. It goes pretty quick. I've tried this out already, but this more than that, I'm waiting for the batteries to charge. So the suspension and playing with the suspension is pretty cool. The, the control is pretty straightforward and it fits, you know, adult hands pretty well. I think kids with smaller hands should be able to, you know, play with this as well. I don't think that's much of an issue. So let's see what else. That's a, the overview of the overall styling and the stuff. I'll leave a few links below in case there are any other similar remote control cars by Carrera or any high quality stuff for Mario Kart. I'll leave in the links below. Anyways, some more issues I kind of found was that, you know, other than the suspension, the inside detail of that tire is actually a little different too. And it is kind of wobbly for each of the front tires. I think that's so that it steers correctly and it gives us some gives and play so that, you know, you could actually, um, you know, it, so it's probably some play for that. Anyways, the recharging one, one recharged faster than the other, so I'm not sure why, but I'll figure that one out later. The lithium ion battery, you know, it's, it's a pretty nice size. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in. So I'm going to put it into Luigi's first and I'll just do the same for um, Mario later. I have like a precision... Um, screwdriver set. Don't really need one, you just need a small screwdriver to get to this. Probably a number one or so. And there's two little tabs, so we'll go ahead and connect this thing up to the charge cord. And we could do it. Plug it to charge, and we'll just hide the cable a little later. Now, on the RC, or on the actual uh, vehicle there isn't a external port so you actually have to take this you have to remove the battery out to charge it directly with a usb charger so that's a little bit inconvenient i was kind of hoping there would be a canopy or something you just basically charge in the back or front but it doesn't matter it only takes a few seconds to open that up and to turn it on to the side just pull it to the back the little red button or a little light pops up some of the paint on my luigi one was kind of messed up it's a little smudged but yeah you might want to take a look at the um to the package first before picking your final one if you're collecting this thing if you're just playing with us just don't worry about it uh if you open up the remote control all you need to do is put three two triple a batteries in here and like i said it already includes it there's already like four that comes with the package 
So simply just open that thing up and put it in. Even brand their own bank their own batteries. How neat. So it doesn't take long at all to set this thing up and once you turn it on and turn on the other one, it pairs to it. So no problem. You can actually use that one controller to pair against um, either car. I think it just takes a few seconds and the first time you turn it on it finds out. There you go, it turns and he swivels as well, which is really, really cool. And let's go ahead and accelerate and yeah, that works. This thing works, which is really cool. Again, a lot of fun details and stuff. This is neat. Yeah, it's pretty good to probably just put it on my desk. Anyway, let's try it out. Yeah, pretty fast. It does very, very torquey in the back end. It spins. In fact, you could probably do some donuts and stuff too if you want to. See? As well as, you probably lose some control. You have to, there's not much of variation in the power, so you kind of have to be careful. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, it goes fast pretty quickly. So I don't really have much of a space and I don't want, you know, to shoot any lower, but overall you could do donuts on this thing. Just, you know, turn it to the right and hit the power button, or hit the forward button and you can do donuts. And I'm trying to avoid not hitting this too much. There are small plastic, um, um, clear cells for like, let's say the rear lights and the front lights, but there's no light that comes out of it. And I'll, sh I'll probably show it to you a little lighter. But yeah, it's pretty fun. You have two of these going, it should be pretty cool. Especially if you want to get that new Mario Kart um, augmented reality one, this should be pretty awesome. The wheels, I think they're pretty loose because they, they're accounting for the fact that you might, you know, hit something. As you can see, there's two lenses in the front for lighting. And of course, this thing is a little too um, low profile. So it might get caught on some of these, you know, anything that's above a centimeter. So it might just kind of teeter like that. So you can see from the bottom part, the base of the car is pretty low. So there's probably about less than probably a centimeter of clearance, maybe. I don't know. Roughly about a centimeter. So it might scrape the bottom if you're, you know, trying to jump over things and, you know, ride something really quick. Eh, speed bumps. Anyways, that's really about it, guys, for this review. It's a really fun car. I'm definitely going to keep this thing. And it does look stunningly beautiful. And the fact that it's hand-painted for a lot of places, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, seriously, the, the yellow stripping and stuff are painted. And also some of the, the turbines and stuff are painted, too. So the wheels and tires. Very nice. Very, very nice. I mean... Even taking some, shooting some photos like this, this is really, really cool. And I can't wait to play with it, you know, when my niece comes over. And then we can just, or heck, I'm just going to buy her a set. Screw it. You know, I'm going to keep these for myself. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching again. And of course, you know, look at that detail. My gosh. It is pretty cool. The form and face expressions, I mean, it's Mario and Luigi. And they put that, a lot of quality in their face. Anyways, big thank you to all 11,000 plus subscribers to the Sony W channel. Again, like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more Costco finds, product reviews, unboxings, you know, and also take aparts and stuff too. I'll do that too, as well as, you know, other fun stuff. So mostly Costco finds because, well, you're interested in Costco and that's why you subscribed. And if there's anything that pops up, I would probably either get it, review it, or see it on this thing. Also, uh, reviews of updates of updated products like air fryers. I love those things, as well as unboxings of stuff I buy of like the msi um gaming laptop anyways see you next time thanks for watching stay tuned for more bye, -bye.